Assets, it's gold. It's more gold than people know about. It's over a million metric tons of gold. The Marcos says, I, do, I will not name the spokesman. They'll open everything. To help me implement the last will and testament of the late President Marcos. But it shows deposits in the name of Ferdinand Marcos in a bank in Brussels. And it's for, nine, it's for $987 billion. Just to show you the bill of lading, how much is two hundred forty million dollars? Oh my goodness! Is it million? Billion? 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 Two hundred forty billion? Only one ship. Can we show the camera? No. 
something, you know. Such a huge sum surely can't be genuine. But with Imelda, who knows? Like armies of lawyers, I failed to unravel the mystery of Imelda's billions. This is shallow waters. But I did get a very interesting, a very long presentation on her plans to end poverty and build a tunnel through the Philippines that would solve the world's trade problems. No, we are not the thieves. These are the people. No, this, this, this will save the world. This is the reason why I want to survive. And it's not for me anymore. I, with, with the whole press saying we are Magnanaka, we are the Magnanaka kami ni nakawan. Mm -hmm. We are the one who took it. Marcos suffered so much for this. A assets, it's gold. It's more gold than people know about. It's over a million metric tons of gold. And uh, the World Bank and the IMF have a special role to play, making sure that that money is spent to the benefit of humanity. So where's the gold? A lot of people, some people believe that the gold in Fort Knox has disappeared. Um, that's been in question for many years. Congressmen have attempted to get an audit of the gold in Fort Knox. Um, so a million metric tons of gold is not something you can just hide. Where would you say that that gold is being stored? 400,000 metric tons are in the Central Bank of the Philippines. There's over 200,000 metric tons in Union Bank of Switzerland. And some of that gold is buried securely in the Philippines as well. Some of it is held in various banks, but the bulk of it is in the Philippines. That there is um, a special trust that contains just about all of the world's gold. It was established by Ferdinand Marcos. He, um, this gold, people want to know what the gold is. It's right You're referring now. to the president of the Philippines, of the, ex, of the former president of the Philippines who died in 89, correct? That's correct. That's who, except, you know, it's not clear about the exact date of his death because he had a cousin who, you know, he was removed. He was removed by the CIA. It was not by a popular uprising. You know how, how the CIA stages these things. And he was sent off to Hawaii, but he had expected that this was going to happen and he had gotten his cousin to stand in for him. So he was actually, it was his cousin that was um, in Hawaii captive. Yeah. But but anyway, what Ferdinand Marcos did was he took the world's gold. I was explaining what is the world's gold. It's gold from King Solomon. It's gold that the conquistadors in Spain gathered up from the Aztec and Inca civilizations. It is gold that was gathered by General Yamashita between um, World War I and World War II. And what the banks did when they gathered up the gold, they issued certificates to the wealthy people who had the gold and those certificates had interest that was payable in gold. And the interest has been compounding. What Ferdinand Marcos did was he put the gold in a trust for benefit of humanity. And he, did, he said that the, the trust would be for 50 years. The reason he did this, he, he was a lawyer and he knew that if somebody claims that they own something and they are not able to prove their claim for 50 years, that claim is extinguished. That's a legal concept called statute of limitations. These are the hundreds, 350,000 documents used against me. Huh? Now, all of that, mm -hmm. all the mines, all the banks of the world, 170 banks of the world. And I have the bill of lading. And these are all U.S. government exhibit. Just to show you the bill of lading, how much is two hundred forty million dollars? Oh my goodness! Is it million? Billion? 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 Two hundred forty billion? <sighs> Only one shipment. And these are plenty of shipments. And then five sketches. When we started, it was $32 and then $35. An ounce of gold. She's ounce talking of gold. of gold. Now it's 1,300, 400, 500, 600, 800, and iba iba. Iba iba. Ounce, yan. How many kilos? And we are sitting on gold. But the most urgent reason I was looking forward 
to my coming to this hearing of the Philippine Senate is to seek your help, honorable senators, to help me implement the last will and testament of the late President Marcos to enlist assets in the hands of trustees to implement the Marcos Humanitarian Foundation so that we can help the country in our economic crisis and help the Filipino people in their agony and suffering. The Marcoses, I, do, I will not name the spokesman. Sabi nila na they'll open everything and probably return yung nakita lang. Sabi nila na malaki ang deficit mo sa maybe this year ang projected deficit spending would be big, sabi nila. Baka makatulong. Pero hindi ito malaki. But we are ready to open and bring back. Sabi niya, pati yung if you gold bars. Hindi ganun kalaki. It's not a Fort Knox. It's just if you, but sabi nila, isa uli nila, para walang ano. And the only reason really was sabi nila that uh, the father was protecting the economy. And of course, the eventual kung maalis siya. But he was thought of uh, regaining the Malacanian, and that is why ganito ang lumabas, parang naitago. I will accept the explanation. Whether or not it is to it, wala na yan. And they are ready to return. How much they would give me an accounting? Trying to look for a guy not identified with anybody to handle uh, the negotiation kung gusto nila. I'm looking at the former Chief Justice. Sila na lang mag-usap. Then another uh, uh, CPA and uh, maybe a representative of uh, all that is... Uh, accepted also by all para so that uh, tatlong tao yan mag-usap sa kanila and they are ready and I'm happy na we come with a clean breast make uh, something that is really worthwhile for the Filipinos